All right, a quick recap of resting membrane potential. Resting membrane potential. Break the word into three. Rest membrane potential. However, the key word is the membrane itself. Is the membrane that is at rest and has a potential. Note, the plasma membrane is that structure that separates the cell, the content of the cell, from outside environment. And you know, it is basically a lipid bilayer. Although there are protein there, but it's basically the lipid bilayer. Two main types of protein are present on the cell membrane, but we are more concerned with the one that is called transmembrane protein, which is the protein that transverse or pass through the entire length of the cell membrane because they are the one that allow movement of substances in and out of the cell. We also call them protein channel. They allow movement of substances in and out of the for a robust discussion on membrane physiology or cell membrane physiology, you can check out my video that is specifically for that. All right, back to our main gist, resting membrane potential. We have summarized what membrane is in relation to this our subject matter. The structure that separates the cell, the content of the cell from the environment that has the lipid bilayer, and more importantly for our discussion, the transmembrane protein or what we call channel proteins. Because it is these channel proteins that we allow movement of ions in and out of the cell. Plasma membrane itself control movement of substances in and outside the cell. Hence, we can define resting membrane potential as the potential difference across the cell membrane of cells when they are at rest, when they are in their steady state, when they are not in their excited state. Excitation is what is going to terminate the resting membrane potential. To make this subject easy, think of REST. R, resting membrane potential definition. E, exit of potassium. S, sodium potassium pump activity. Then T, termination of resting membrane potential. Resting membrane potential, RMP, refers to the membrane potential when the cell is at rest. Transmembrane potential when the cell is at rest. It stands for exit of potassium, meaning movement of potassium from inside the cell, outside the cell, through the potassium channel. Note that from your knowledge of body fluid compartment, the chief cation of the intracellular fluid is potassium. So meaning the predominant positively charged ion within the intracellular fluid is potassium. And the chief cation outside the cell is sodium. Ideally, because of concentration gradient, Potassium should be able to move outside the cell through the potassium channel and sodium should be able to diffuse into the cell through the sodium channel. But excess of potassium is moving out compared to the amount of sodium that is moving in. Why? Because potassium channel are more permeable to potassium compared to sodium channel. As a result of that, we have more positively charged ion moving outside the cell compared to the amount of positively charged ion that is moving in. Meaning we have more potassium moving out compared to the amount of sodium that is coming in. Negativity generated by potassium exit is maintained by sodium potassium pump, which is pumping in two potassium and pumping out three sodium. In summary, resting membrane potential is the negativity of the interior of the cell membrane as a result of potassium leakage and activity of the sodium potassium pump, which eventually now leave the interior of the cell membrane negative compared to the outside. Why is this? Because the negatively charged protein are too big to leak and follow potassium and hence the interior of the cell membrane will remain negative. Now, this will continue until there is an action potential that will now reverse the order.